So the game I'm playing today is called Constellation. Now, a couple months back in one of my randomizer videos, I played a game called Constellation Machine. Constellation Machine is very difficult to describe, but basically you can input random commands and it causes objects to appear on the screen. For instance, if you wanted a circle to appear, you could just type in circle and there would be a circle. If you wanted a square, type in square, there'd be a square, and so on. And there were a bunch of different commands for you to discover. You were encouraged to discover most of the commands on your own, but if you were having trouble finding certain commands, you could ask for help from the game by typing in help. And it was pretty cool. It wasn't really a game, but there was something about it that just really drew me in and I couldn't escape from it. I actually found myself coming back to Constellation Machine numerous times after I uploaded my video of it, even though I didn't make a separate video of it, because I also featured it alongside uh, two other games. Now, this game, which is simply called Constellation, is supposed to be an updated version of Constellation Machine. Much like its predecessor, it was developed by Terry Kavanagh, uh, you know, the guy behind Super Hexagon and VVVVVV, etc. He created this for an event called Now Play This 2017, but technically this is an expanded version of a game that he created almost two years ago. Now, the overall premise is pretty much the same as Constellation Machine. You just type in random commands and there will be objects that appear depending on whether or not that command actually exists within the game. This time it's a little bit different though because Constellation Machine was in a 2D pixel art style. This one actually has 3D models. Most of the models were not made by Terry Kavanaugh himself. They were actually models that he purchased from uh, asset stores. Some of them were royalty free. The game also features various skyboxes and not just uh, solid colors now. Although there are some solid colors you can make the backgrounds, but for the most part, when you type in a color now, it just loads up a random skybox. So, I'll, I'll show you guys what, what's different here. We'll press enter to start. So, as you can see, we have the exact same command input screen right here. It says try typing something, which I will. So, it works pretty much the same way as Constellation Machine, so if you want to turn the background white, you can just uh, type in white and it'll turn white. So that's, that's pretty simple stuff right there. If you wanted to go back to black, it'll go to black. You can reset to uh, basically delete everything. The word erase also works in addition to that. It basically acts as a synonym in this game. So when you type in circle, it will still add a circle, as you can see. Uh, what's kind of weird about this, though, is that the circles in this game are actually one-dimensional, despite the fact that they're in a 3D environment, which uh, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. If you type in square, you'll have another square. The squares are actually 2D, so, like I said, why are the circles 1D if, if the squares are 2D? And then there's also triangles, which, once again, you can add. They are pretty much the same style of triangles from Constellation Machine, and they keep changing colors, or they keep cycling through colors. Most of these objects will just float around aimlessly, although you can get them to do some pretty uh, cool things. Like, for instance, uh, you can align them in a row by typing in row. I don't believe you were able to do this in Constellation Machine because none of the models were 3D. So you can arrange them in a row. If you type in column, you can arrange them in a column here, as you can see. It's kind of weird with the triangle on the bottom because it's all uh, distorted and warped, its shape at least. So yeah, as you can see, when I'm moving the camera around, which you can do with the uh, arrow key is... Yeah, the, the circle does not move, it's always facing you, which really doesn't make any sense, considering the shape above it is 2D. If you want to change the skybox, you could actually just type in the word sky, and it'll just load up a random skybox. So, in this case, it loaded up a very dark one with some rather ominous-looking clouds right here. If you listen very closely, you may also uh, hear some very low-frequency low ambience in the background. There is also music in this game that you can enable. So when I uh, enter Sky again, it takes me to a different location, up in the clouds, with the uh, the sun illuminating the clouds so that they all appeared like bright orange, like they're on fire. And there's a city down below us. I have no idea what's even going on in this skybox. It kind of looks like we're, we're staring down through the, the eye of a hurricane. Now, in addition to uh, the normal shapes, there are also uh, different uh, animals that you can add in as well. I'll just let these guys uh, move around again. Um, maybe I'll just uh, get rid of the skybox for now, because that, that one is just kind of disturbing. So, for instance, we can add in a cow. 
And as you can see, we just have a, a cow floating aimlessly in space now. It's just kind of doing flips. If you want a deer, you can put in a deer. If you want a cat, you can put in a cat. If you want a dog, you can put in a dog. If you want a... a that's not how you spell turtle. If you want a, a turtle, though, you can put in a turtle. If you want a fish, you get a shark. I mean, that's still technically a fish, so I'm not mad. Uh, if you get a bird, or if you type in a bird, sometimes you get a penguin. Other times you can get a duck. Yeah, a thing that should be worth noting about the duck in particular is that it's a rubber duck, so it, it's it's not very s specific with that. If you just type in duck, it'll give you it'll give you a like a like a, a bath toy essentially. Now, as far as I know, the only camera movement in this game is uh, looking up and down and left and right. I don't believe it's possible to move the camera anywhere, but you can zoom out a little bit. You can only zoom out so far here, so you can increase your field of vision, and it looks really bizarre. As you can see, everything just kind of kind of distorts, like like you're like you're warping through space. Speaking of war up, if you type in war up, you can actually make it look like you're warping through space. So everything everything's just is just distorting here. If I just set this back to normal, oh wait, I have to in order to set it back to normal, I actually have to zoom back in here. So yeah, there's also different effects that that you have as well, like uh, different visual effects. You have war up, which uh, is in the shape of of hexagons. Speaking of which, if you type in hexagon, which still works. This time around, though, it doesn't add a hexagon onto the screen. It activates a kaleidoscope filter, and whoa, okay. Yeah, this, uh... Holy crap. I kind of created a cool effect right here, actually. That's pretty, that's pretty neato. That's pretty neato. Uh, it's a little bit more chaotic when it's, uh, when I'm moving it up and down, but... Yeah, that, that looks, that looks pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the effect that I created there. Very good. Kind of looks like a like a Karma Feels music video. Anyone who doesn't listen to to Monster Cat will not get that reference at all. Oh, that's cool. I kind of made like like stars, like 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 a like some sort of miniature supernova right here. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. If you type in normal, it just goes back to normal. I do believe you can also activate the kaleidoscope effect by typing the number six in. Yeah. So that's uh, that's how you can do that, and you can also just type in kaleidoscope in order to activate the filter. There are different filters as well that change the color. Like for instance, there's this Hades filter that uh, makes everything look like uh, look like lo look like it's it's inside hell. Speaking of which, if you type in hell, well, there you go. You're you're actually in hell now. If I uh, disable the filter right here, yeah, this is this basically hell. We got mountains. We're we're hovering over lava. I can just get rid of this this war up effect right here. Yeah, so there you go. You just have you ju you just have random animals floating, floating in hell. Nothing 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 bizarre or, or strange about this. You guys like some fruit? You can add some fruit in this game as well. You can add many of them. You can you can have like a like a whole a whole buffet going on right here. You can even add eggs. As a matter of fact, I think I think if you type in breakfast, yeah. Sometimes you can get coffee. Other times you can get bread and eggs. There you go. You, you got you got you got a whole bu buffet going on here. Your breakfast is is just floating in hell. This this looks like some sort of weird fever dream. In addition to that, you can also go to heaven. Although heaven is a little bit bizarre because when you look down, you are literally staring down at a hurricane. So I didn't I didn't know they had they had hurricanes in heaven. As a matter of fact, it just kind of looks like that that other skybox. Except the, the, the eye is, like, opened up. I don't know, the, the clouds look look fairly similar. Want random milk cartons floating around in space as well? You can you can do that too. Again, if you type in many, you can add many of those objects uh, into the CN. You can create, like, multiple copies of it. So there are a lot of commands that have been uh, reintroduced in this version of Constellation. Also, as you can see, the, the textures on a lot of these objects are uh, extremely low quality. This is basically like Nintendo DS quality textures right here. I wouldn't say PlayStation 1, because PlayStation 1 textures, frankly, look a lot more pixelated than this, so... I, I'm being I, I'm being a little bit nicer on it than that. The textures on the eggs, though, look, look pretty, pretty fine, though. You can make everything gigantic, too. And they just eat the camera. Yeah, that's that's kind of disturbing. Let's let's just look inside the deer's butt, guys. That that's 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 what the inside of a deer's butt looks like. It's it's literally hollow. There there you go. You you guys learned something today. The inside of a deer's butt is hollow, and apparently the inside of a cow's butt is well non-existent. <laughs> so the more you know. So we can just uh, get rid of all this stuff right here. We're going to reset this. You can add a hand. 
Yeah, you just you just have this hand floating around. For some reason, the word glove also works, but when you type that in, the hand won't actually be wearing a glove. It's just a hand. You can also see inside the hand, which is also incredibly disturbing. You'll once again find it as it's just hollow. You can also add feet. Here you go. You want a foot? You want many feet? You have a foot fetish? You want all the feet? You just want all the feet to encompass the screen right here? Want to make them gigantic? Yeah, you, you can you can do that in this game. It, it is kind of disturbing, though. It's because, like, like the hand and foot textures actually look quite realistic. I mean, you can still see the individual pixels, but it's like, the textures that they put on this model in particular looks like, 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 really, really stunning, actually. Like, see, you can, you can still kind of see the pixels, but it's like, you, you can very clearly still see, like, the arteries and veins on, on the upside of their hand, you know, and the different surface details of, of the hand as well. So it, it looks like an actual human hand, and it's, it's really bizarre and almost, like, venturing into uncanny valley territory, and it kind of makes me uncomfortable. Although the bottom of that foot is looking really strange. It's almost like a combination of two different textures, and it really does, does not look good at all. Do you guys want to go into the ocean? Well, that's not where I was expecting it to take me, but I mean, we're, we're close enough to the ocean. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's 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 go look look at the, the the waterfall over here. Yeah, the sky boxes are also kind of uh, low quality as well. Wow, hi, how are you doing? You're like reaching out to grab me. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Get 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 out of here, please. You can you can cause them to explode here, as you can see. Uh, well, I didn't really uh get get to show you a a, a nice graceful explosion right there. So what happens when they explode is like they expand outwards and then they actually implode on themselves. Then they just disappear. If you also uh, type in remove, that also removes everything too, so it's just another way of removing all objects on screen. One thing that I do like about this version of Constellation Machine in particular is that no matter how many objects you put on the screen, it almost never lags. So this game is uh, pretty, pretty well optimized. Even though this version I wouldn't really consider a game either, but whatever. It, it, it's, it's, it's Fever Dream Simulator is what, is what I prefer to call this. You can put in a pie! Even though it's it's actually a pizza, and if the pizza could turn around, yeah, there you go. This is just pizzas. Apparently, Terry Cavanaugh doesn't know the difference between a pizza and a pie, or maybe it's pizza pie. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Well, there you go. You can you can add a pineapple in as well. You can add in bananas too. There's there's not that many fruit you can actually add in. I do know that there's bananas and there's there's watermelons. Yeah, you you want to make you want to make trip angry, trip from facade. Just add in all the melons. He'll he'll just get furious. Let's see what other sort of uh, sky boxes I can load here by just by just typing in sky. Oh yeah, there's this sky box right here where there's uh yeah UFOs in invading this this gigantic city. The city is kind of interesting though because it almost appears to be like like infinite a according to the sky box. It doesn't it doesn't seem to end. You can also add floating skulls. Want, want some floating? Want some random skulls floating in space? Want to add Mi Mr. Bones himself into the game? Well, there he is, guys. There he is, right there, Mr. Bones himself, just just getting abducted by aliens. Yeah, so you know, just 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 random random skeleton floating in the air. There's only a limited number of objects you can add into this game, but I have been able to figure out what most of them are by just just typing in uh, random crap. So we have a, a fax machine right here. You can have a phone. Want some chairs? You, you want you want you want some some office appliances? Well, how about how about how about a clipboard? I mean, you can't can't really can't really uh, do work while you're while you're getting adopted by aliens and you're you're just like floating in the air. Let's add some music in here because this this feels empty. Yeah, the, the game does kind of kind of feel empty without without at least some some soft music going on in the background. Although I don't know if this would be the the, the most appropriate to win. For, for this scenario right here. We can just try going to a, a different skybox right here. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't stop. The music doesn't. Yeah, you know, we're just, we're just on a pier. We're just on a pier. We have random fax machines and, and telephones floating in the air. Again, there's nothing weird about this whatsoever. And now we're inside a church. Yeah, you know, because this is what you normally see in church. You have, you have random w watermelons and, and, and skulls and pineapples. Just kind of floating around, and I mean, given the size of all the objects in the skybox, these these objects look minuscule compared to everything. Oh yeah, there's this there's this just random guy, sitting sitting in 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 the church. He's he's like the only 
person there. It kind kind of looks like he's just he's just staring at his foe or something. I don't know. You can't really make it out because there's so much artifacting going on with these sky boxes. Have some nice mountains right here with a with a green sky box and emerald green sky box. As a matter of fact, the word emerald does in fact work because it takes you to uh to this sky box in particular which looks pretty much the same. Right there you see uh, an emerald lava, or at least that's what I like to call it because it, it, it's green. You can add some cubes that actually reflect off the skybox. You can also add spheres. There you go. Just just have like some, some solid metallic bubbles floating through the air. Speaking of bubbles, you can have regular old bubbles uh, just floating in the air right here. Create a, ni a nice little scene like that, although there are some skyboxes where it wouldn't really be a appropriate. Like, for instance, you, you might not want to put this in, in the hell skybox. You can also set the entire scene on fire here, as you can see. It's not actual fire, but it kind of... Kind of, kind of looks more like Firefly is, but still, you can you can always pretend. This is a game where you really have to use your imagination. You can also make it snow. You can even make it rain. So all the particle effects are, are really nice here, and none of them lag the game at all. You can also have some pollen just just floating through the air. Actually, where where would this be be more appropriate? I don't know. Maybe maybe this scene right here. Sometimes it, it feels like I'm playing a game of GeoGuessr, trying to uh, figure out where exactly uh, these pictures were taken for the sky boxes. If you want to play some chess in the sky, you can add some chess pieces into here. I do believe the uh, chess pieces we have are the pawn, the rook, bishop, knight, king, and queen. Um, I don't remember if there if there are other chess pieces. If there are more chess pieces than that. I don't know, it's been, it's been a long time since I played chess, because I used to be a nerd when I was 10 years old. <laughs> well, I still am to this day, it's just, it's just that chess has become maybe a bit too nerdy for me. <laughs> if you want Constellation to feel more like a game, though, you can type in game, and suddenly, you have a score. Your score increases as you keep adding more objects into the scene here. There we go. My score is increasing a lot. You can get, get the highest score by adding as many melons as possible. I do believe you get uh, 500 points for every object you add into the scene. Let me just remove all of this. You can also add in an hourglass and just make this look uh, gigantic here. There we go. There's there's your hourglass. Actually, I got 1,500 points for, for adding that one in. So does it actually, like, depend on what sort of object it is? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Also, uh, for some reason, the word traffic is not... Uh, working here, even though I know for a fact that this would have, uh, spawned in a Cohen or a variation of a Cohen. Yeah, not, not these cones in particular, not like the, uh, the flat textured ones, the flat textured transparent ones. There were, like, traffic cones, like pylons, but that's not working anymore. Even though I could have sworn. I could have sworn that was, that was working before. Hang on, turn, turn on the nice, relaxing music again. Traffic. What? I swear to god that was working before. Well then again, that's probably because I uh, I actually downloaded this game. I was playing the browser version of this game uh, a while ago, and when I typed traffic into there, it worked, so I don't know, I guess Terry Kavanaugh decided to uh, remove it from the downloadable version. Speaking of Terry Kavanaugh, if you type Terry's name in, it'll activate the Hades filter. I'm not entirely sure what, what this is a, a reference to at all, but... You can do that. It's in the game. He programmed it into the game. Some other filters include a uh, black and white filter that makes everything all pixelated. And also everything is in black and white, so it's basically like a, a monochrome filter. So just turn that off. Some numbers also work as well. Like, for instance, uh, typing in 2 will enable the black and white filter. Typing in 3 will give you this very bizarre screen where you have, like, uh, nine screens. So essentially you're looking at nine screens all at a time but they're all focused on uh, the exact same thing, like they're, they're basically viewing the, exa the exact same camera angle. And uh, you can also type in Nyan in order to activate uh, this screen as well. If you type in Spider, that also activates the exact same screen, which is kind of disappointing because I thought it would add an actual spider. You can add some ants, you can add a lot of ants, you can add floating ants, and just ant ants dancing in, in, in the air. Speaking of dance, you can make them dance in the air. Wow. That's that's a grace such a graceful dance. It's a graceful dance. They're all like like fusing together with one another. They're creating like a giant a giant ant pile. The other one in in the background is is choosing not to participate in it. He's he's not he's not interested in the slightest. Have some floating dice. 
and they all dance around too. I played this off screen for like two hours, by the way, and I didn't even realize it had been that long. Like, I, I don't know why, but every single time I play this, I just get completely lost in, into, into, this, into this world. Like, I, I go into, into a trance, almost. Like, this game puts me in a trance. And it's like, I just, I just try to keep coming up with all these bizarre scenarios. This skybox in particular, I really do not understand what's happening. It looks like we have towering cumulonimbus clouds in space with multiple stars. And for some reason, Mars is in the background. Want to add Mars in, into the, into the scene? Well, you can. You want to add copies of them and watch them all dance around? I should probably disable that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can have, you can have Mars. You can also add Earth, too. You can also add the moon and the sun. And you can make them gigantic, like they should be. You can see that Mars is actually colliding with the sun. Unfortunately, they don't actually explode if they do end up colliding with each other. Unfortunately, you can't add any of the other planets. Like, I could add Mercury, Venus, that doesn't work, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. None of that works, unfortunately, because I guess, I guess w these are the only planets we actually care about now, I guess. Also, I did find out that if you, if you type in, uh, V, 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 it causes all of the, uh, objects to fly up into space and then just disappear for some reason. I tried putting that command in, uh, the original Constellation Machine and it did nothing. I was hoping that it would, uh, that it would add, uh, Captain Viridian, possibly, or like a, a sprite of Captain Viridian into the game, but... Unfortunately, my, uh, my hopes were dashed, because it did absolutely nothing. It does something in this game, though, but it's still not really that spectacular. The hello command still works, though. You can still add 2D helloes. Want to fill the whole screen with helloes right here. Just have all sorts of helloes floating in outer space. God, this is a really odd scene that I created here. Hey, you can have a, a, a rainbow background. I do wonder how many objects I could add into the game, though, before it finally breaks, and... I, I guess I could test it out, but maybe not with, uh, with all the hellos here. Can I actually make these giant? Oh god, I can. Wait. I, I'm gonna make the voices louder. The voices are speaking up. Oh good, good, okay. I made them so giant that, uh, they collapsed on themselves. Now I'm all alone again. Well, it seems like the game still thinks they're there. So hang on a second. Can I keep, can I keep on doing this? No, because that, they're, they're basically invisible now. Okay, fine then. I'm in the mood for some ice cream. Unfortunately, it only comes in one flavor, though. Chocolate ice cream, because I guess that's the, uh, the only model that, uh, Terry Kavanaugh decided to put in here. You can use the mouse to, uh, to look around as well. Or at least I thought you could- Hellfire? Hello? Okay. Um, yeah, I forgot. You can also, uh, make it so that the game just adds random commands or uses random commands as well by either left-clicking on the screen or, uh, typing in question mark. Uh, purgatory? Whoa, okay. Yeah, we're we're in we're in purgatory now because now we have like like all sorts of circles just just floating around. Everything's white. Here, that's 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 way too bright. Yeah, there's there's the circles. But yeah, you can just make it uh type in random commands in yeah, models is going to add uh I, I believe models does just add uh random objects. Yeah, the junk command also comes back here as well. It just uh, adds random objects into the game when you're when you're too lazy to to type in anything. I guess it's also good for uh, figuring out what other sort of models there are in the game. Like there's there's a bucket which I actually didn't know was in the game before, so that's completely new to me. You can even have ceiling fans. This this looks kind of nice. It's a, li a little too bright for my liking. Let's, let's just tone it down a notch. There we go. Well, actually, all the objects still are still like emanating light from them. Uh, you can also uh, add some color. In, into the scene as well. You can disable that at any time. If you want to just completely remove the color, uh, you can use the monochrome effect right here. I think, I think contrast also works too. Yeah, even though there's a lot of commands in this game, there are some commands that just act as, uh, synonyms for other commands, essentially. Like, for instance, you can put a vignette, uh, like a little vignette effect over the screen right here, but you can also achieve the same effect if you just, uh, type in the word border. It, it just does the exact same thing. So it is kind of unfortunate that some of these commands are different, but they still do, like, the exact same thing. It's not something I, I really appreciate, to be honest. Some other effects you can add are teleport. If you want to make it look like like you're, you're teleporting, I, I guess, even though they just all look like lions. You have a world as well. 
Looks like you're trapped within a wireframe world. Speaking of wireframe, you can add some wireframe cubes into the game as well, into the scene, along with just uh, regular surface reflecting cubes. You can also add uh, scribbles, which are essentially polygons that uh, like contort and twist. Even though those ones are actually not doing it right there, or are they or are they supposed to? No, I think I think it's the uh, polygons. Like if you type in the word poly. Yeah, then they'll then they'll start twisting and contorting on themselves. But I guess if you just type in polygons, they won't actually do anything. There's also pyramids you can add, but once again, they're just they're just like wireframe pyramids. And if you type in the word cycle, then you'll just start cycling through uh, all the hue colors. So you can see the buildings in the background are just are just changing color. All the other objects that you add into the scene will uh, cycle through uh, the same color palette as well. Okay, we're underneath some palm trees now. If you really want to make the the scene look like a look like an acid trip and a half, you can also uh, add the CGA filter, which causes this to happen. I'm not even sure what this is exactly, but uh, <laughs> it looks trippy. And actually, if I if I turn off uh, all of that, and then type in CGA, just to, to demonstrate this normally. Uh, essentially... Wait, did, did that work? Okay, where is where is the phone? Yeah, it's basically... It's pretty much invisible. Okay, maybe maybe an apple would, would be better. Would be better for this. Yeah, so essentially the CGA filter makes it look like... Uh, essentially makes the, the game uh, assume the color palette of uh, basically old, like, MS-DOS games from the 80s. Back when those games only had, like, like four different colors, and they were all, like, ugly as hell. Because who doesn't love a combination of, of, of white, pink, and cyan, and black? Four colors that just go so well together. Want to see something particularly marvelous? Type in galaxy, and then this happens. Y you get You get this effect. This this is our galaxy, guys, which apparently consists of of two suns. I don't think Terry Kavanaugh knows a goddamn thing about space. So this effect right here is called flare. So you can just turn that on, and it'll it'll make everything uh, lo look like it's it's moving very quickly, or it'll it'll apply a little bit of a uh, motion blur to the game, I guess, to make the graphics a little bit more realistic. Suddenly, cows flying through space. Yeah, you know, gi gigantic space cows that are that are larger than planets. You, th you think asteroids are, are a threat to Earth? No, that that's those that's the real threat, guys. Because you you think we we might be safe living on the spinning mud ball, but then the next thing you know, some some intergalactic space cow suddenly enters our solar system on a direct collision course with Earth. It'll end all life as we know it. We gotta we gotta be prepared for for when that moment arrives, guys. And then you can just make everything explode, and suddenly space feels kind of empty. And lonely. Want to cover this city in a, a thick cloud of smog? Well, you can do that. The smoke effect. Yeah, the smoke effect also also uh, makes makes the scene look a lot brighter because I guess I guess it, it's reflecting light. The sun's light is is shining through it. Now at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, what exactly is the point of this game? Is there even a point to it? And to be honest, I would say no. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure this game is not supposed to have a point to it whatsoever. The main reason uh, Terry Kavanaugh created this, according to him, is that uh, he 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 made this for uh, de demonstrating at parties. Apparently, you know, if you're at a party and you you want to give you want to show some people some something interesting and unique and give them something to talk about, I, I guess. I don't know, his reasoning for it was was really odd, in my opinion. Like, the reason he gave as to as to why he created this game was, was really bizarre. And he did create this game for a specific event. I believe he developed this for uh, an event called Now Try This 2017, or something along the lines of that. It, it says in, on the uh, title screen, uh, but I already can't can't remember what it was called, so again, goes to show you how good my short-term memory is. Yeah, also sorts of junk right here. There's, yeah, there's, uh, briefcases and an acoustic guitar that, uh, that you can add as well. So all sorts of different items, but like I said, there's not every single item that exists in, in, in the universe can, can be added into here. Only a select few. Like, you have Christmas presents, you have penguins and shoes and buckets. Speaking of Christmas, oh, did he, really, he removed this as well? This was, like, one of the, one of the coolest things, though. If if you're playing the browser version, if you typed in Christmas, it would result in like this very bizarre like kaleidoscope effect with with Christmas presents everywhere. There is also a, a mirror filter, which is what I believe it used exactly. 
So yeah, you can just uh, you can just add some uh, some mirror effects in here. You can create some some rather cool effects with that though. There was also another thing that he added called Vapor Wave. Okay, this still works. Yeah, this is really cool. So this is like uh, an example of the mirror effect, and holy crap, that is psychedelic. Okay, yeah, I'm I I have no problem with this honestly. I actually love the way that this looks. Yeah, there is like a a little uh, 3D effect going on here. It's 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 very 80s, very 80s indeed. If I just remove all of the effects, as you can see, yeah, it's just uh, rainbow reflecting cubes in the background. Yeah, this is this is the 3D effect right here. There is actually a, a VR mode that you can enable, and I do believe if you have a VR headset, this actually does work. But I don't have one because I can't afford one, and for and per personally, I don't I don't have a need for a VR headset right now. I mean, there is a lot of really cool VR games that 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 I would love to play, but because they require a VR headset, I can't play them. And because I don't want a VR headset, I'll probably never get around to playing them because I just don't feel like it's something I, I really need right now. So you can just uh, make them all move. You can also make them f move extremely fast. Eventually, you can you can make them so fast that they just leave the screen altogether. Sometimes they fly out so far that they that they'll just disappear. Most of the time they don't. Well, I mean, most of the time they actually do, but s some of them will stay around. As you can see, you might you might catch a glimpse of a. Uh, some squares flashing across the screen. If you type in death, it kills everything. If you type in delivery, and I swear to god if he if he removed this as well. Okay, no, he didn't. If you type in delivery, yeah, you receive a delivery of of, of milk cartons. This is probably at least uh oh my god, this is at least a couple months supply of milk cartons right here. You'd be you'd be pretty good to go for for a little while. I'm gonna try and, and read what this says. Like like the Texture quality is horrendous, but yeah, I, I cannot read that at all, guys. The only the only thing uh, I can really make out are the percentages at the bottom. I think it's telling you like the different the different types of milk that are available. This is one and a half percent, which I I didn't even realize was a real thing. Like, is that a real thing? One and a half percent? I mean, I've heard of one percent and two percent, and I know that homogenized milk is three and a quarter percent. Is there one and a half percent? milk that exists we don't have that here in canada maybe maybe people in other countries do if you have one one and a half percent milk in your country please please let me know that that would be an, in, an interesting fact for me at least you know what these models look like they look like really old source engine models it's like they still look really good but you can tell that they've that they are aging like they're kind of low poly and the the textures are not quite high quality like, they haven't aged that well. That's kind of what this looks like. I do know that this wasn't built on the Source engine, though. This was built on an engine called Away 3D. Just just have them all move. Yeah, you just have floating milk cartons in, in the air. Totally uh, no nothing weird about this here. Have them in 3D. I don't know, maybe this could work if you're wearing 3D glasses, but it, it just kind of hurts my eyes, so we're not going to, uh, we're not going to use that. Unfortunately, you don't have all the barnyard animals in this game, because putting in pig or sheep doesn't doesn't work however the command animals does and it'll just add add random animals in into the into the arena right here you even you even have the giant bear you have the giant bear oh my god <laughs> jeez look at look at his teeth for goodness sakes even his teeth are pixelated looks like he has no pupils can i can i see the inside of the bear yeah he's he's hollow as well well actually he doesn't even he doesn't even exist like his insides don't exist it's just it's just the outside quite quite an anomaly of a creature indeed and then they all blow up. Not in the most realistic fashion, but but still, try try to imagine it in your head if you're a horrible person. This is a nice skybox right here. Does pinball do anything out of curiosity? No, it doesn't. Uh, the ribbons do also come back as well. This time they are uh, in 3D, and they stretch all the way down from the, uh, the, the top of the screen all the way down to the bottom. They slowly move around like like beams of light, but other than that they don't really do anything else. As a matter of fact, none of none of the game none of the uh, objects in this game really do anything. They're just kind of floating around aimlessly. You know, you can you can just create some really bizarre scenes with uh, with all the commands in this game, but other than that that's that's all there really is to it, guys. I mean, there's there's nothing more to say about this other than that. It's just a really silly game where you can just add random objects into a skybox. Like for instance, a car. Yeah, you can even you can even add in a car. I'm not even sure what what the the model of that 
this car is. And I can't get a closer look at it either. Un unless I, I zoom out while while looking at it. Okay, no, I don't I don't see it anywhere. Oh good lord. Yeah, there we go. Going through a time warp. Now the car looks all tiny. Also, this really this really minimalist like techno music playing in the background. Yeah, I I don't know what else to say about this, honestly, guys. I mean that's that's the whole game. This is this is Terry Kavanaugh's newest game, guys. Now he's just he's just I don't even know what what he's doing anymore. <laughs> yeah, he just he just created a game where you can add uh, floating hands and feet and dice blocks and skeletons and cows and planes and floppy disks and and cars and windows and and barnyard creatures, just just randomly floating in the air like they're in space. Put put them in a zero gravity chamber. Activate a skybox in order to in order to simulate reality. And 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 there you go. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. And, it. and it's weird, too, because as much as I do not understand this game for the life of me, every time I play it, I can't stop playing it. That That's the weird thing. It's like, I, I just I just get lost in this. I just I just end up getting getting completely lost in this. And whenever I try to stop, when I try to, to click that, that X button, I, I just can't. For for some reason, it it always it always dr drives me away from from clicking it. I don't know. I guess I guess maybe it's the whole uh, it it's the whole uh, process of of uh, trying to discover everything in the game. Like there's probably still a lot of commands that I have yet to find. I I don't think I've seen like everything that this that this game has to offer, but I feel like I I have seen most of it. But I'm still gonna try and keep finding some some new and and bizarre effects. And see see how how they in, how they change the screen or interact with the screen or how they how they affect everything. Actually, can I add filters over filters? Out of curiosity. Uh oh no, it doesn't it doesn't seem like I can. Yeah, I can only have one filter uh, enabled at a time. And actually, there there is one other filter that I can show you guys really quickly. If you type in in Instagram, uh, which does actually work in this game. Yeah, you you basically get get the Instagram filter, you know when you when you want to make your uh, your images not look like garbage, even though it doesn't really look all that realistic in the slightest. Oh yeah, and if you want to make everything pixelated, you can do that too. So there there you go, got a got got a pixelated world right here. Everything is all censored. We we can't show this. What what you're seeing here is 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 too hot to be shown on YouTube. Yeah, we can't can't show this in its in its true beauty. Otherwise, we'd 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 be demonetized instantly. Even though you'd pretty much be demonetized for simply uploading a YouTube video in in this time. But let's make everything giant. Oh good God, that that hand though. Seriously, that hand really does creep me out. Just just get get it away from me. Hang on a second. I I know exactly what I want to do. To, to, to finish this off. Oh yeah, I'm in space. You can you can also go on, on an asteroid too. Yeah. You can you can also just, just travel to an asteroid, but this is what I wanted to do. I want you guys to to get the hell out of here. Just just disable all this crap. There we go. There we go. This is exactly what I want. Just a skeleton gathering in space. Got all of Mr. Mr. Bones' family members here. <laughs> yeah, I mean I mean the fact that Mr. Bowens actually is it actually uh a, a valid command in this game and it adds in a skeleton that's 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 just great I don't know why but I, I I love the fact that that's an actual command even though it's essentially the same as adding in a skeleton like Terry Kavanaugh makes some of the weirdest games I've ever played but they're still like they're still such a spectacle to behold and I can't for for some reason I, I can't stop playing them once once I started even with something this this bizarre and absurd as constellation I don't know what it is guys but it's it's magnificent it is absolutely magnificent. Oh god, what is this? What exactly is that? Oh, okay, I thought I thought I'd maybe be able to see some some skeleton heads there. Oh jeez, well actually I kind of can. I can see their bodies. There we go. Now we're really we're we're really warping through space now. This this is what you see when you when you fall into a black hole. I feel like you could very easily create some horrible memes using this game, but anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> I am going to uh I'm going to end this video now. That's that's all I have to say about Constellation Machine. It's just a really bizarre game. It's Terry Kavanaugh's newest game, and you guys probably probably all know him. He's he's the guy who made who made all the other like insane 
insanely difficult games that that made me want to want to quit life altogether but this is technically not a new game from him it's basically an updated version of a game he he released like two years ago but it's a lot it's a lot better because it's in it's in 3d it's essentially a 3d version of constellation machine in my opinion it is way better it, it probably won't be of of interest to all of you considering it's literally just a game where where you're throwing random objects into into different environments and that's literally it like you you can't even interact with with any of the objects at all because you can't you can't move your your camera around and for some reason Terry Kavanaugh also removed the uh the mouse controls for the camera because before or at least in the uh browser version you could control the camera with the mouse so I don't really understand why he removed uh certain features from the desktop version of the game but whatever you have you have cats floating in space don't worry they'll they'll be okay they they can breathe out here in in this game at the very least so if you want to play the browser version of this game guys the link is in the description if you want to download the desktop version there is a, a separate version of constellation that terry kavanaugh also released on his itch.io page uh, where you can also download the desktop version of the game if you don't feel like uh, playing it in your browser. You want to be able to play it without an internet connection. If you want to download that particular version, link to that is also in the description. Yeah, wow. Actually, I created something really cool right here with, with the rotate effect. Yeah, they're all like rotating around here, and it looks like we're just kind of slowly traveling through space and time. I don't know. You can you can still create some some beautiful scenery with this, even though it makes like absolutely no sense. This is this is this is the definition of abstract art right here, guys. This is an abstract art creation tool. That's that's essentially what constellation is. And now let's make everything giant. Actually, I there is one one last thing that I can actually do. I can stretch these uh these objects out with the tall command. And if I make them tall enough, eventually this will just happen. Yeah, you know, you just start filling up the screen and then you, you pretty much can't see anything. They they basically become pillars in, in their own right, or ribbons. This is this is essentially how how you make colored ribbons in this game. But you basically can't see anything. And then if you want to uh, make them all move fast, if you want to essentially give yourself a seizure, then you just make them all move at hyper speed. And eventually, they'll just cease to exist. Oh wait, I have to make them move. Wow. And as soon as I made them move, they they just they just died instantly. All right. Oh, I didn't even realize that does actually uh that does uh, affect the warp effect as well. Oh, okay. So it looks like we are actually traveling through space here. All right. Now I have an idea to make this to make this look look really really cool. There we go. That's very good indeed. Transcending space and time as we speak. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later.